Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to talk a little bit about the leaks of a new Xperia 10 Mark III. I have my Xperia 10 Mark II here still and uh, yeah basically the Xperia 10 Mark III will be an improved version of the Xperia 10 Mark II as you can see here. So we will still have this 6 inch OLED screen that you can see here which is pretty gorgeous for this price point and you will have then um, still the water sealing hopefully and maybe they will have a metal frame it will have the three three and a half millimeters headphones jack that you can see here eventually uh, on the phone itself but what it will gain is stereo speakers instead of just the mono speaker here there will be just like a front firing speaker here or they will use the earpiece for creating this stereo effect so Hopefully, hopefully this will work out pretty nicely. It will have Gorilla Glass on the front and back. I guess it will be Gorilla Glass 5 or something like this. And of course, it will have the same camera setup, almost the same. I hope they will improve the camera sensor, make it a little bit bigger, make it an upgrade. So they will have the 12 megapixel, the 8 megapixel and another 8 megapixel. So ultra wide and telephoto 8 megapixel sensors probably the same as the Xperia 10 Mark II and then a 12 megapixel sensor. I hope they really will upgrade this maybe with the 12 megapixel sensor main sensor that was originally uh, put into the Xperia 1. This is what I hope to get a bit of better image quality by default. Then we will have another 600 Snapdragon uh, processor. In this case it will be the Snapdragon 690 which is a first 5G enabled Snapdragon processor in the mid-range 600 uh, Snapdragon um, price class. So it will be 5G enabled but don't expect like a high big jump from the 665 that you have here in the Xperia 10 Mark II. So it will be on one level when it comes to uh, running around in applications, playing uh, back things and so on. So the Xperia 10 Mark II uh, basically upgraded or the 10 Mark II, II version will be the 10 Mark III actually. This is what I expect and I expect it to come pretty soon because all the other manufacturers are uh, throwing out those 5G uh, smartphones so Sony cannot stand back with this also in the mid-range sector so they will throw out the Xperia 10 Mark III pretty soon. I'm very sure even before the flagship devices will arrive. Apropos flagship devices, another leak arrived this week talking about a new Xperia Compact line, a true compact line, so not 6 inch but 5.5 inch. And the first 3D renderers appeared and showed uh, something that is a bit disturbing for Xperia users, I would say. It showed a 5.5 inch very compact but with a notch so instead of like using like you can see here they're using like this big candy bar on the bottom and on the top instead of this this 5.5 inch has a little notch just like on the l4 xperia device i'm not so fond of this i have to say i would rather see like just a hole punch in this on the side or something like this for the 8 megapixel or rumored 13 or 12 megapixel uh, front facing uh, camera. Um, I hope on the back it looks like there are only two cameras. I hope this will be the same cameras as in the 5 Mark II, as in the 1 Mark II, or even better cameras and a wide angle one. But what's with the telephoto one? So maybe they are skipping the telephoto one and only ship the ultra wide and the main sensor. This is what I expect of this new compact phone. And the new compact phone will not be able to compete with Xperia 1 Mark II, Xperia 5 Mark II or an Xperia 1 Mark III that will come out at one point this year. Um, it will have only a Snapdragon in the 700 series. I don't know which one. It's not the 765G. It's probably the, uh, the, the successor of this 765, um, 790 maybe, uh, 780, something like this. So either it will be this or it could be the brand new, what is it, Snapdragon 870 chip. But the 870 chip doesn't have 5G. So I expect Sony to 
yeah, switch to a Snapdragon 700 series with 5G enabled with 5G modem built into the SoC. So I can show you some renders, of course, of the device itself. What do you think about this design change also from Sony? And do you think it is good that Sony is reviving this compact series, despite the fact that the iPhone 12 mini series, which also is a very compact phone, one of the most compact high-class phones that you can get right now, is not selling as well as the bigger brothers of this device. So what do you think about reviving this compact series? Does it have a future? Is it something that Sony does now for one year and after a few years, just like or next year even, Sony will ditch it completely because the sales are not good? Or are you waiting for this compact phone and is this 6 inch 10 Mark II or the uh, 6.1 inch, also 6 inch, I think 6 inch 5 Mark II, not enough for you as a high end, high class compact device? This I want to know. Write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.